Statesboro, Georgia Southern ran 16 plays from under center on Saturday, just days after interim head coach Chad Lunsford and offensive coordinator Brian Cook said they didn't plan on veering away from the shotgun. Both coaches said last week that going under center against Troy, with just a week of preparation after former head coach Tyson Summers was dismissed, would have been asking too much of the players. But the Eagles came out on their second offensive play of the game with quarterback Cotto Brown taking the snap from under center and handing off to L.A. Rams before a four-yard gain. Now it appears that the Eagles will be working in more plays from under center each week. During his weekly press conference on Monday, Lunsford explained that last week he was trying to avoid tipping his hand toward the Trojans. I think yeah we'll see more under center package stuff, said Lunsford, whose squad hosts Georgia State at 3 p.m. Saturday in a Sun Belt Conference game. You don't want to talk too much about what you're doing as far as getting ready for the next opponent. We had some success, so it's definitely something we can build off of. Georgia Southern scored both of its touchdowns in Saturday's 3,816 loss to Troy on runs from under center, but the Eagles' longest rush from the formation was an 11-yard run by Ramsby. Really, their WASNT much difference in the offensive production from both formations. The Eagles' 07-03 Sun Belt totaled 62 yards on 16 carries from under center, an average of 3.88 yards per carry, and 165 yards on 46 carries from the shotgun, an average of 3.59 yards per carry, including Wesley Field's 38-yard run, the team's longest of the day. Speed advantage Lunsford and Brown were asked about the differences of running the option from the shotgun compared to under center, and both agreed the speed at which plays develop is a factor. Ramsby hit the hole like lightning, from the up-back position on his 11-yard run that came on a fourth and one, whereas Fields read the play and waited for his blocks to develop on his 38-yard romp through the middle of the field. Brown said both formations have advantages. In the shotgun, you can kind of see what's going on as you're catching the snap, getting your eyes on reads, he said. In a gun formation, I would say the defense does have an extra second to adjust to how we're lined up, whereas under center we're quicker on the snap and kind of catching them off guard couple of times under center we caught them off guard and got some big gashes. It worked out to our advantage to when we did go under center. Out of the gun, you can see more of the field as far as safeties and corner alignment and see what's in the box and get your counts and things like that. Out of the gun, there are some positives in there as well. Lunsford said he believes Cook has designed some quick-hitting plays that have been successful from the shotgun, but attacking the line of scrimmage faster comes more naturally with being under center. I think a lot of that is play design, he said. Yeah, we'll see some plays out of the gun where we're hitting it fairly fast, but there is just the nature of it. Your blocking schemes, the way you attack it, you do it differently. I do think things hit faster under center. Getting the snap right mistakes tended to happen more from the shotgun. Brown fumbled the snap on his second play from under center, which was recovered by the Eagles, but the offense looked clean the rest of the way. From the shotgun, Brown made a bad pitch, and a snap from center Curtis Rainey soared over his head for a loss of 22 yards. One of the challenges Brown said he had early on was handling the snap exchanges as rain pounded the field of Veterans Memorial Stadium as he alternated from shotgun to under center. I had a bobbled snap during the game, Brown said. You've really got to apply that pressure to the center and make sure my hands are steady in there. You've got to just have your hands up under there rather than in the gun catching the snap. Getting into the game and my first play being under center, I kind of had it on my mind, but I can't let that type of thing get to me. As a quarterback, the first thing you learn to do is get a snap from under center. After that, we got some snaps on the sideline, and after that we were fine. Redshirt freshman Shy Wirtz started Saturday's game against the Trojans but alternated with Brown. Wirtz took nine snaps from under center, including the last four in the fourth quarter, while Brown took seven. Alternating QBs Brown, a redshirt junior transfer from Moore Park College in California, is the more experienced of the two quarterbacks in running the option from under center. He was on Army's roster as a redshirt during the 201,314 season, the year before former GS coach Jeff Munkin started at Army, before transferring to Moore Park. I got to play under coach Munkin for a summer, Brown said. I felt like that helped me a lot coming into this type of offense. I'm not a perfectionist, but I do want to get there one day, hopefully. Wirtz will still be listed as the starter, but both quarterbacks will see playing time Saturday as the Eagles host Georgia State at Paulson Stadium, Lunsford said. I think both guys can do it. Cotto has more experience at it, but we feel good about both guys, he said.
We feel like we can put both in the gun and both under center. Shy is our starter, but we will get Kato involved. How much the Eagles run from the shotgun and under center going forward will be dependent on Lunsford and his staff crunching the numbers and whether the coach thinks one is giving the offense more momentum over the other. You have your game plan, you have what you want to do, but as the game unfolds, you start to say, hey this is working well, this is something the defense has not adjusted for or ISNT prepared for, he said. We pay attention to those types of things. You've got to look at numbers. If we're doing a good job under center or in shotgun, we're going to run the plays that are being productive.